Here we see a model of the heart and some of the associated blood vessels. Uh, I'm gonna start off with kind of an overview of the external features, then I'll go back in, point out the internal features, and then maybe reconnect them with the external features. So first off, what you're looking at here is uh, the heart from what's called the anatomical position. So it's, it's facing you like it would be inside of a person that's looking at you. So you've got to, you know, transpose your left and right. Uh, this side over here is the left side because if a person was looking at you, then the left side would be on your right. And this is the right side over, over here. Uh, you can see these big flap-like structures on top here. These are kind of like uh, extra room for the chambers called the atria. And these ear-like flaps are called auricles, which is the same name, that technical name for your ear. So these flaps are auricles and they kind of act as like a blood reservoir when blood's coming back to the heart. We see some, uh, some coronary vessels right here. So this is, the right, this is the right coronary artery, this red one, and this is the left coronary artery. Now they branch into arteries that have names, but I'm not gonna go into those. Some more major, major arteries and veins you see here are this big red one. And this big red one coming out here with its typical arch shape is the uh, aorta. So the aorta, as I spin it around, the aorta has an arch, and uh, I may as well tell you about the blood vessels right now, but I've, and these are the same blood vessels that we discussed in the dissection video, but this is the aortic arch, with this being the brachiocephalic trunk right here. This is the left common carotid artery, and this is the left subclavian artery. And then this aorta continues back down through the thorax and has its own story, but that's a story for a different video. Another big blood vessel we see leaving the heart here is this one. Now this one you'd think, because it's blue, you might initially suspect that it's a, uh, a vein, but this is a pulmonary uh, trunk. The pulmonary trunk, or branching into the pulmonary arteries, uh, is a blood vessel taking blood away from the heart. But it is blue in this model because it is deoxygenated. Red and blue are going to uh, indicate whether the blood inside is oxygenated or deoxygenated respectively. So this is deoxygenated blood, but it is going away from the heart. So arteries go away. That's kind of the, the way you remember it, the A and the A. If you speak Spanish, the verb for to come is venir, so veins venir, they come back to the heart. Uh, here is a really large uh, vein. This is the uh, superior vena cava, and it's a really massive uh, blood vessel that takes, brings blood back from the uh, head and uh, upper, upper thorax. On the back of the heart here, we're gonna see these these blue branches right here, these are the uh, branches of that pulmonary, of the pulmonary arteries, right? So these are still connected to that big blue one that was up front. Now we see some red guys right here. So there's two red ones on this side and some more red guys coming back here. Well, these are, the, again, that sort of exception that to the rule where these are veins. These are your pulmonary veins. Pulmonary means lung. So the pulmonary veins come back from the lung to the heart, and the lung was where you oxygenate the blood, so it's red. Uh, and the pulmonary artery, this is one right here you can see on the edge there, is, uh, is taking deoxygenated to the blood, to, um, blood to the lungs to get oxygenated, and then to return back here through these pulmonary veins. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, one thing we see on the back, Sorry for the shaky camera work here, my bad, is this big blue structure right there. Well, this big blue structure is the coronary sinus. And the coronary sinus is kind of a, a sort of a, a pool of blood that is uh, bringing the, the blood back to the uh, junction here of the inferior vena cava and the uh, the right atrium. So this is deoxygenated blood returning from the heart. It's coronary, so it's a, it's a coronary vessel. One more vessel that we can find at the bottom down here, just off, can you see that? Is that on camera? Um, that's the inferior vena cava. So the inferior vena cava is a big blood vessel bringing blood back 
to the heart from your abdomen and legs. And the superior vena cava is this big guy up here bringing the blood back uh, from the head and shoulders. So they both are bringing it back and they're gonna dump into a vessel, into a chamber right here called the right atrium, which I will get to in the next video.